Today we are going to test two methods to restore faded plastic or oxidized plastic on this ATV. The first method we'll be using is heat. We'll be using this benzomatic torch. The second method is a combination of paint thinner and boiled linseed oil. This ATV behind me, we just did a restore job. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link up in the description or up here on the screen, and you can click on that and see that. But today we're just gonna work on the plastic. This ATV is at least 25 years old. As you can see right here, this is probably more closer to the original color. And you can see here it's, it's faded. Hopefully that picks up well enough on the camera. This did cover this, this I, I, I cut this piece off right here. And uh, so it kind of protected that. So you can see, we'll try to get it back to that color. Checking this side, you see the same thing over here. This is dark, it was covered for many years. And so that stayed the original color. This is very light. So let's see what we can do to get this back to its original color as much as we can. Obviously we're gonna do uh, a pressure wash on this first. Chokes on. All right, well, you got to be careful, I guess, with this uh, really old paint on here. That actually is taking it down to the rubber right there. Maybe there's some sort of a uh, paint on here already. I don't know. Yeah, this is this is a complete different texture. This is smooth. This is got some sort of pattern roughness to it. All right, I don't know what this is gonna to do to this part here, but uh, let's try uh, the torch on this side and we'll leave the linseed oil and the mineral spirits or the paint thinner for that side over there. right away you can see a clear difference from here to here brings back that color Next up is the 60-40 mixture of paint thinner and boiled linseed oil. Let's open up these real quick. And you know what? I'm going to start off very small and I'm just going to guesstimate. Why is this all milky? That is very strange. Look at that. Is it white? Looks like milk. All right. Well, let's just start off with a small, small bit. That is probably uh, two, three ounces. So, I don't know. Swoosh that around a little bit. Okay. 
All right, this is real time. I've never tried this before. We will put it on this side right here. You can see the original color, I think, is this right here. Whoa. Got too much on my rag. We are gonna put it all right here and see if this does anything. We'll come back later and check on that. I mean, this looks like um, like a honey mustard sauce or something. I'm getting the feeling that uh, this paint thinner is, is wonky. I mean, the paint thinner I have over here. There we go. Oh, it's a seat. Oh. Waterless Mineral Spirits, same company. Oh, this is green. Oh, come on, man. See, this is clear. 65% renewable content. I don't know if that's gonna work. It doesn't seem like the right stuff to me. I'm gonna try some of this with the Mineral Spirits. Not much, well, just wanna start off with a very little bit. That's an ounce. We'll put another. Okay. All right, well, the verdict is in. It's been uh, a couple hours later, and there's not much discoloration change. Here you can see a slight line where I did the linseed oil mixture right here and here. It slightly changed it a little bit. Over here, barely anything, if, if nothing. Um, so, I mean, the verdict is in. I think the heat definitely knocks it out right away. Look at this, completely back to the darker gray here. I didn't do a real good job up here. You can see it needs to hit it a little bit more, but heat does a good job. I didn't hit it here at all, so you can see the difference. Um, so let's try this heat over here. Oh, that's after I did the linseed oil. We might have to wipe that off. Oh, maybe that's a trick. Put linseed oil on there first. put some more of this oil on here after I heated it up. Now it's kind of giving it a, uh, almost a camouflage look, you know, cause I didn't, I kind of made it a little bit patchy um, or did it a little bit patchy. So I don't know, maybe this is going to be the new look for this ATV. I'm going to clean this up a little bit more, touch it up a little bit more. So far the verdict looks like the heat is actually working the oil mixture not so sure about that at least not for this application but it might work for other applications all right guys it is the next day and let's check this thing out first of all as you can see right off the bat these this rubber part is absolutely magnificent i mean it turned out phenomenal by just putting that linseed oil on there but that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose is more of this oxidation. Did it take care of that? And you can see here, clearly, the heat darkens it up nicely. Now this is not very even. I didn't do that great of a job on it. I'll probably go back and do a little bit more uh, to even it up, or maybe I'll leave it the camouflage look like that. So this is the side I put the heat on, and this does actually work. Let's check out the other side where we just 
used, well, well, we use linseed oil and heat. I don't think the linseed oil, um, <clears throat> along with the paint thinner, really did anything, much of anything. Maybe the plastic on this ATV just wasn't ready for that. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and finish the rest of this. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out. I definitely say that heat does the job a little bit better in my situation than the linseed oil and the paint thinner. 